a divorce attorney or an additional child protective services attorney. I don't know what they're called to work along with my court appointed attorney, if that's possible. Can you tell me how I can do that and where I can look for a good um, attorney? Sure. Okay, we're back. This is The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services and Win. I'm attorney Vincent Davis. I'm here with my co-hosts, Aaron Carranza and Brian Hamilton. All right, so let's take another call right now. We have, uh, hope I'm pronouncing this right, Casaria uh, from uh, the Bay Area in California. Hello, did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? Um, a little bit of both. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and, and did I pronounce the name right? Yeah, you did. Chris there, you did. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Um, so, I am in the middle of a CPS case with um, my husband currently. We have uh, been married for 10 years, and there has been a history of domestic violence between the both of us, I have had a five-year order of protection against him stemming from 2012 to 2017. Then he came back, was abusive again, um, and I filed an ex parte. And then he came back again and I filed, um, and I had a one-year order from 2018 to 2019. However, even after all of this, I decided to come back to him. I was living in Atlanta. We just moved to California in January of last year, and January of this year, he was abusive to me that, during the whole time, and then um, January, he uh, choked me, punched me, and he called the police and said I hit him, and he got me arrested. He gained an EPO um, out of that arrest. They let me out of jail and dropped all the charges. He told me to come back home. I came back. CPS showed up two days later. They put in a wellness plan together. Two days after that, he called CPS and told them I broke the wellness plan. The ER worker called me immediately after speaking with him and told me to immediately leave my home, leave all my belongings, do not come back unless I was with the police escort, which I came back three times and I never received any of my, well, any of my things. Um, since then, um, I filed for divorce. Um, I am homeless. I have been awarded supportive services only with one hour of visitation per week, which have been sabotaged by my husband who was in the military. He was uh, a Navy veteran, medically discharged with catatonic schizophrenia, which he goes unmedicated for. Um, he is a narcissist person. Um, he, I have a summary from my son's therapist that shows he wasn't getting his, his therapy on a consistent basis, and I uh, gave that to the court. I applied for a FR services hearing, which is dated on October the 1st, and that is a week before our six-month review. Um, my question is, was the ER worker right in her decision to remove me from custody, even though there was really no thorough investigation? She went off of what he said, and I've always had custody. Uh, I've gained custody out of the protection orders. I was the last one with custody, um, and that's what, what me and my attorney are going to present as evidence. Um, however, he has had orders of protection against me as well, and my son um, has accusations against me. And uh, 
yeah, that's basically my question. Was I supposed to be removed from custody without there being a thorough investigation? And also, the second question, my current social, social worker is, she seems to be intimidated by my husband, um, and my husband is allowed to drop my son off 30 minutes late. Um, he also followed me after one visit and started honking his horn erratically, scaring me, and I veered off the road and almost got into an accident, and he is the one with the restraining order against me at this time. Can I switch social workers? And I talked to the ombudsman who talked to the social worker and who said I cannot switch, and my attorney says the same thing. Do you have a court-appointed attorney or private attorney? I have a court-appointed attorney at this time. However, I just started working back as a, a, a licensed vocational nurse. Um, so I plan on either hiring a divorce attorney or an additional child protective services attorney. I don't know what they're called to work along with my court appointed attorney, if that's possible. Can you tell me how I can do that and where I can look for a good um, attorney? Sure. And Let's go to the first question first. Okay. You know, the scenario you gave me was kind of a setup question because the facts that you presented, I would have to say, I would have to agree with you that the social worker, um, you know, didn't do the right thing at this early stage. Right. But the, here's the problem. And I was just trying to discuss this with Aaron and Amanda. You know, everybody has evidence. Everybody focuses on certain pieces of evidence more than others. The bottom line is a social worker, if she believes that she has cause, can detain your child from you. Period. End of story. Now, don't focus on what she can do. Focus on what you're going to do to fix it. And there could be a lot of different strategies that you can implement. But you, you know, you coming to the conclusion and getting me to agree with you that she shouldn't have done it, that means nothing. It's not going to get you your child back. So let's just focus on getting your child back. Now, what I would suggest is that you have a, a meeting in person, on the phone, Zoom, something, with your attorney to come up with a strategy in order to get the child back to you. If your attorney doesn't want to do that, what you should do is ask for a Marsden hearing, get a new attorney, court-appointed attorney, or consider hiring a private Hey, it's attorney. Aaron, I got disconnected. Now, going to your second question, uh, can you make a motion to get a new social worker? The answer is yes, you can. Uh, as a matter of fact, the California Welfare and Institutions Code sets out specific, I think, some specific uh, reasons for you to make a motion and be granted a motion to get a new social worker. However, okay, it's not it's not as easy to do as you think it might be. And if you do get an, another social worker, is that really going to help you? Right. You're assuming that the so, the new social worker is going to be independent, won't know the old social worker and they won't discuss it, which are probably all wrong assumptions. Right. You're going to be asking for a new social worker. Probably they'll assign someone in the same group or the same office. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Not That's me. not yeah, I'm talking to you. That's not going to get you back the child. Mm -hmm. Getting you back the child, even with what you consider to be a bad social worker, you need a plan. You need a strategy. Right. Okay, And you haven't told me anything about that. You're doing the same thing that a lot of people do. You're focus on, focusing on putting down the social worker, not focusing on winning the case. And believe me, you know, a lot of, you know, I've, I've done thousands of these cases over, you know, the last 30 years. Most judges aren't interested in that stuff about you and the social worker not 
getting along or seeing eye to eye for some reason. They want to know what are you going to do to make sure yeah. it's safe to get your child back. You know, a lot of people think, oh, the judge doesn't want to give me the child back. That's not that. I don't find that to be true. Now, the judge may decide that and may incorrectly decide that, you know, you're not doing what you need to be doing or may not believe your rendition of the facts. Two minutes. But you have to fo- you have to focus on a plan. Tell me a plan that you and your attorney have to get the child back. Okay. Okay. Now, if well, you if you when you get the child back, okay, and I told mm-hmm. Aaron this, I said when you get the child back, and you want to sue the social worker for doing wrong things, okay, we can mm-hmm. do that. That takes place in a whole nother courthouse with a whole nother mm-hmm. judge with a whole nother set of laws. Okay. So okay. don't don't focus on doing that now, because if you try okay. to sue somebody without having the child back, that's a weak lawsuit. Yep. Get your right. child, get your child back first. Got it. Okay. Got it. Hey, I want to uh, thank okay. you for calling and thank you for listening. Call us in a few weeks and give us an update. If you want to talk to me more about what you can do, call me at my office triple eight triple eight six five eight two. I'll call you okay. during this week coming up. All right. All right. Thank you for calling and listening again. Hey, we're going to take a a break right now. This is The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services and When. I'm attorney Vincent Davis, and we'll be back with more stories and more questions from our audience.